f of x comma y equals seven times e to the power of the quantity three x squared minus five times cosine four y. Determine the partial derivatives. We first have the partial of f with respect to x. To determine the partial of f with respect to x, we consider y a constant and differentiate with respect to x. So again, to determine the partial of f with respect to x, we treat y as a constant, which indicates for our function, to find the partial of f with respect to x, we are going to treat seven, as well as cosine four y as a constant, and differentiate e to the power of the quantity three x squared minus five with respect to x. The partial of f with respect to x is equal to seven times cosine four y, times again the derivative of e to the power of the quantity three x squared minus five with respect to x, which is e to the power of the quantity three x squared minus five times the derivative of the quantity three x squared minus five with respect to x, which is six x. Notice we had to apply the chain rule. Simplifying seven times six x is 42 x. Let's write the partial of f with respect to x as 42 x e to the power of the quantity three x squared minus five times cosine four y. And now to find the partial of f with respect to y, we consider x a constant and differentiate with respect to y. So to find the partial of f with respect to y, if we're treating x as a constant, we are now treating seven times e to the power of the quantity three x squared minus five as a constant and differentiating cosine four y with respect to y. The partial of f with respect to y is equal to seven e to the power of the quantity three x squared minus five times the derivative of cosine four y with respect to y, which is negative sine four y times the derivative of four y with respect to y, which is four. Simplifying seven times four is 28. We also have a negative. Let's write the partial of f with respect to y as negative 28 e to the power of the quantity three x squared minus five times sine four y. Before we go, let's talk about the meaning of these partial derivatives. The first order partial derivative of a function of two variables tells us the slope of the tangent line at a given point in either the x or y direction, or more specifically, either the positive x or positive y direction. The value of the partial of f with respect to x at a point gives us the slope of the tangent line in the positive x direction, and the value of the partial of f with respect to y at a point gives us the slope of the tangent line in the positive y direction. Let's look at this graphically. I've already graphed the surface given by f of x comma y. Let's go ahead and zoom in though. And now we'll look at the values of the partials of f with respect to x at the blue trace point. Again, the value of the partial of f with respect to x will give us a slope of the tangent line in the positive x direction, or in this case, toward the right. And now I'll go ahead and animate the point. And again, the value of the partial of f with respect to x shown above in the green bar is a slope of the tangent line in the positive x direction. So notice right now, moving toward the right, the tangent line has a negative slope, which is why the partial of f with respect to x is approximately negative 0 0.3762. And now I'll go ahead and animate the point, and again you can see how the value of the partial of f with respect to x changes. For example, over here, notice toward the right, the line moves upward, which is why the partial of f with respect to x is approximately positive 0 0.6798. And now let's change to the partial of f with respect to y, which will give us a slope of the tangent line in the positive y direction, or in this case, moving toward the back. Let's go ahead and animate the point. Notice at this point, moving toward the back, we can see the line has a positive slope, this tangent line here, which is why the partial of f with respect to y at this point is approximately positive 0 0.9 818. And then at this point, we can see moving toward the back, the tangent line has a negative slope, which is why the partial of f with respect to y is approximately negative 0.9582.
I hope you found this helpful.